Hello Tenno and welcome back to another episode of Warframe Riven Challenges and today we're going to cover how to do the level 30 survival mission without killing or using consumables. Now for this mission we should be able to use the mission Nemus on Eris and I do recommend using a stealth frame such as Loki or Ivara primarily because you do not want to find yourself trapped into a corner. Uh, infestation missions are usually easier to get around on because there are no nullifiers and very few XMI or XMIS or whatever the plural for XMIS is. <laughs> okay, so real quick. This is the recommended build I run. Uh, armored agility and rush for fast movement. Uh, don't really need that, that's just on there. Okay, energy siphon plus 0.6 to energy recharge rate. This is really good if you are running the Zeneric School uh, for the energy dash. Now, if you are running the Zeneric School and you are trying to do this mission, so when you go to use your energy dash, do make sure to turn off lightning dash. That way you don't accidentally damage something. I do also recommend removing either your sentinel weapon or removing your pet. That way they do not attack anything. Uh, this is a high duration build as you see, 229% and regular rate. I'm using efficiency, or I'm, I'm sorry, invisibility with almost a 30, uh, 30 second duration and a 50% drain. Um, since I removed that, let's go ahead and remove that. Let's go. I don't want to sacrifice any of my duration for the cost of efficiency, so we'll reduce it 30%, and that'll bring it down to 35%, uh, 35 energy. So that's... 744 energy with a plus 0.6 recharge rate. So for every one energy you gain with his, uh, what is it, five, five energy per second with the energy dash at maximum, plus 0.6 per energy. Um, so that's around eight energy per second. Which is pretty good. Uh, 35 energy costs to use the invisibility with almost 30 second duration. We can stay cloaked pretty good. Uh, do make sure you have your weapon equipped with the Riven, that way we don't have any problems here. Complete survival, level 30 higher, without killing or using consumables. Um, with this, I am running the Aklex Prime, which has a very long reload uh, time. I am running Quick Draw and Stunning Speed to give me almost a 60% uh, reload rate. Um, I'm doing this only because I want to be able to shoot containers and open various lockers throughout the level. We don't want to lose too much on our uh, oxygen, so we want to be able to open up containers as quickly as possible without really risking hitting anything, which is why there are no other mods equipped here, even with a tool form of Aklex Prime. Uh, I am running Rakta Dagger unranked with zero mods, that way I don't do any damage with that either. I would hope a level 30 infested creature can survive a single hit with a Rakta Dagger, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so... School. Just double check to make sure light and dash is turned off. Energy dash is turned on. And we're not really looking at any other problems here. Uh, we will... No, actually, that was already off. Never mind. What mode is... Okay, definitely want to turn that one off. I honestly forgot about Void Static. Okay. Turn that off and that. Okay, so we're just running the basics here. Void Through a Flow. Void Siphon. So, higher energy pool for the operator. That way we can transfer into the operator and cloak and pretty much be able to walk through targets. Void dash creates a zone of energy, we'll need that. It doesn't really matter if we keep energy or uh, inner might on. Energy pulse is okay. So let's get these changes. 
I do apologize. I am a little bit scattered as it has been quite a long day, but I definitely wanted to do a video and this on its own is a pretty big challenge. So we will go ahead and head on to our mission. What we are going to do is Harris on Nemus. This is a level 30 to 40 mission. The Kuva Siphon mission, as you can see, is showing 25 to 35. And the regular mission is actually a 30 to 40. Now do make sure you are set to solo. As you can see, I can move pretty quickly here. Right. Oh, the dagger's pretty nice, though. Alright. And are releasing toxic spores into the area. The emergency support I am delivering is your only chance for survival. The first so now what you just want to do is monitor your time. And I do apologize, I meant to actually turn off my transmissions. So monitor your duration. And just keep pumping inside the level. Just need to survive five minutes. We're at 88%. You don't want to use an oxygen container before 70% as it restores 30. So just run around and look for uh, containers. We're one minute in. Get ready for a capsule. Transmissions down as that seems to keep turning itself up. Basically, the idea is just to run as evasive as possible with the minimalistic setup. You can actually remove weapons, that way you don't accidentally use something you really don't want to use. Or you can just do it this way, just try not to hit anything. Now, I did want to bring a pet that could open up containers, off chance that they would get oxygen tanks. But you definitely don't want to risk your pets accidentally killing something. Get a little bit of reputation with some 
to Samaris to kill some time. And out we go. Oh, Lord. Uh, okay, so I'm definitely glad I took those mods off. percent to impact that's well I'm not sure what kind of weapon stupa is let me take a look at something here so it was to impact it is actually kind of balanced between impact and slash Just alters what it's effective against. 200% at 14.2, 200% would bring it to plus 28. So that's 42% or 42 points. That's not bad. So I didn't get a bad one. Uh, it is higher against. Oh, well, actually, that's really good because. Impact is really good against shield. 79.3% damage to corpus versus grenier. Most grenier are basically health and armor, so this is pretty good. Uh, okay, so that's uh, the easiest way to do the level 30 survival mission, and I do hope this Riven Challenge Guide has helped you, and I do appreciate all of my viewers and their patience. I know it's been a little bit since my last update, uh, upload. That seems to be a common trend, but working a full-time job and having three kids, it's a little bit difficult. So I do hope you'll stick around for the next video. I also hope this helps you out, and thanks for watching.